Greetings in the precious name of Jesus to all the viewers of Liturgy TV. Today we are celebrating 14th Ordinary Sunday and uh, the second reading states about brokenness of humanity due to human weakness, imperfections, and failures. Believing in people even before they have proved themselves is the key to motivating to reach to their potential. People are weak because they don't have faith in themselves. Most people don't have someone who has faith in them. Most people can open up when someone else has faith in them. In the second reading, St. Paul is expressing faith in himself and in God. First of all, St. Paul speaks about his sufferings which makes him very feeble and weak. He prayed thrice to remove this thorn in the flesh. But Jesus said, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Brokenness of Paul due to his suffering is well articulated in this, in this reading. Difficulties in your life don't come to destroy you but to help you realize your hidden potential. But St. Paul knows the power of Christ rests upon him in his weakness. Secondly, St. Paul says that when I am weak, then I am strong. God comes down when you have messed up your life and offers a way, of, way out. When you truly care for someone, their mistakes never change your feelings because it is the mind that gets angry but the heart still cares for you. So also, God is not hurt by our weaknesses because his heart still cares for all of you. That's why in God's love, in God's eyes, in God's eyes, love is never absent. In God's heart, forgiveness is never impossible. In God's embrace, no one is ever alone or forgotten. That is why St. Paul says, when I am weak, then I am strong. Good things come to those who believe. Better things come to those who are patient. Best things come to those who don't give up. Do not brood over your past mistakes and failures and your weaknesses as this will only fill your mind with grief, regret and depression. Do not repeat them in your future. Put your heart, mind, soul into even your smallest acts. This is the secret of success. The first reading identifies 
three weaknesses of Israel. They are Israel are unfaithful, they are rebels, and they are obstinate. Ezekiel received his call among the exiles in Babylon. He was overwhelmed by an experience of God's glory and holiness and he fell upon his face. God's spirit entered into his body, made him strong and raised him up and set him on his feet. God's spirit sent him to speak to Israel who were unfaithful, rebels and obstinate. God was faithful to his people Israel. God has been faithful and merciful to Israel. Ezekiel understood that even his call to be his prophet is part of God's faithfulness to them. The attitude of God is show respect even to people who don't deserve it, not as a reflection of their character, but as a reflection of your own. It is a reflection of God's mercy. Mercy is God's invitation of relationship extended to anyone who is alienated and disobedient. Ezekiel is called to be prophet among the chosen people of God. Ezekiel has to be amidst them preaching and proclaiming whether they heed, whether they heed to him or not, whether the man accepts or not. God always places his powerful presence amidst them in spite of their weaknesses and shortcomings. True leadership of human being lies in commending them, praising them, being positive towards them rather than condemning them. The Gospel reading articulates the brokenness of Jesus Christ. Jesus at Nazareth, his hometown, is broken due to the familiarity which he breeds contempt. In Mark's Gospel, usually people are amazed at Jesus for his mighty and outstanding works. Here, Jesus is amazed at the people of Nazareth, at their weaknesses and rejection. They call him carpenter. They call him son of Mary. They mention the names of his cousins. They look at him with human point of view as he is familiar to them. Their ego was hurt. They were too busy in arguing about his origins rather than to listen to his words. They are more worried about external or superficial aspects rather than internal power of God. Their mental blocks have becoming impediments for the flow of the power of God. God's power is absolutely limited by their familiarity and rejection. Jesus is hurt at the lack of faith of the people of his own town. Jesus is broken down and says, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place. Consequently, he could not work many miracles. 
we might have missed so many miracles due to lack of faith in Jesus Christ. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate that mercy and compassion is to communicate to people their worth, their potential so clearly that come to see it in themselves. Let us not focus on our weaknesses, on our imperfections, but on our potential. It is possible only with Christ, who is very compassionate, merciful, and understanding God. Let us believe in Him. Let us trust in Him, who can strengthen us, who can forgive all our sins, who can purify us, strengthen us, and make us more and more potential people. Let us pray for this in our Holy Mass and in our prayer life. A small prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who became man, born of the Virgin Mary. We thank you for Jesus, who has visited his hometown, Nazareth, as Messiah. He was rejected. Jesus is very compassionate God. Although he could not do mighty works, but he still, in spite of their rejection, he touched some people and healed them. In the first reading, Ezekiel was sent to the people who are rebellious, who are unfaithful and obstinate, but he was faithful to them. God was faithful to them. And St. Paul speaks about his own weaknesses. We human beings are prone to fall and fail. We are very weak, but still God's love and mercy enables us to stand on our feet, to experience pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. Today especially surrender to you, Lord, all our imperfections, shortcomings and failures. Pour out your graces upon us. Pour out your blessings upon us. Pour out your precious blood upon us. Cleanse us, purify us, so that we may experience pardon, forgiveness for all our sins. Whatever may be our imperfections and shortcomings, May the precious blood of Jesus Christ purify our hearts, bodies and minds so that we may experience pardon, forgiveness and cleanliness. Cleansing aspect of Jesus' ministry. Lord, we also pray for the people who are suffering from various disease, ailment and sickness. Grant them healing touch. Lord, we also pray for the impending third wave. Protect your people from third wave of pandemic. Protect them, Lord. Help them, Lord, that they may be always protected by you. With your precious blood, they may be anointed and protected. These and all other grace and blessings we ask in your precious name, who is the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Let us also pray 
for all those who are watching this program may god bless all the families all those who are viewing also let us ask the lord to bless vijay and this liturgy tv that it may become more and more vibrant and the word of god may permeate every aspect of our human fiber god bless you god bless you all